Snow and ice warnings have been issued for parts of England and Scotland as temperatures are expected to drop significantly this weekend. The yellow warnings cover northern and southern Scotland, as well as the east of England down to London and Kent. Forecasters predict that temperatures could reach as low as dash 10 C in northeast Scotland and minus 4 to dash 8 C across much of the UK overnight. On Friday, snowfall caused 30 schools in Cornwall to either close or open late. Glasgow Airport had to ground all flights on Saturday morning due to heavy snowfall overnight. Two inbound flights were diverted to Prestwick and Edinburgh as teams in Glasgow worked to clear the snow from the airfield. The Met Office yellow warnings, which are in effect from 1700 hours on Friday until just before noon on Saturday, indicate that people may face hazardous conditions. Disruption and delays are likely on roads and railways, and icy patches may form on roads and pavements. The Weather Agency has also warned about freezing rain, a rare type of precipitation that freezes upon impact, making driving dangerous. The London Fire Brigade advised taking extra care while outdoors and to stay away from water, as conditions could be icy. Throughout the day, many areas experienced temperatures around 0 C. But as the evening approaches with clear skies and light winds, temperatures are expected to drop well below freezing. The Met Office predicts that areas 100 M to 200 M above sea level, particularly in Northern Ireland and Western Scotland, may see 2 cm to 5 cm of snow. Wintry downfalls of snow will continue around North Sea coasts, and rain, sleet, and snow showers will move in from the west over the weekend. There is even a chance of significant snowfall in Wales, the Midlands, and parts of northern England by Sunday morning, even at low levels. In addition, the UK Health Security Agency has issued an amber cold health alert for several regions in England, indicating that significant impacts are probable. The alert covers the East Midlands, West Midlands, Northwest, Northeast, and Yorkshire and the Humber until December 5. The agency warns that the cold weather is likely to affect the entire health service, with the potential for the entire population to be at risk. Despite the current cold snap, this year has been one of the warmest autumns on record in the UK, joining 2021 and 2022. The average temperature for the past three months stands at 10.8 C according to provisional data from the Met Office. If you have been affected by the cold weather, you can share your experience by emailing haveyoursay at bbc.co.uk or contacting the BBC through their website.